Okay, so I've got my phone up just to see if it's broadcasting. Let me be. Uh, said that we're supposed to be live. Let's see what the situation is. <clears throat> oh yeah, we're, we're 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 online. We're broadcasting. Well, so this is a. Uh, so what is this? So this. Uh, Let's see if this works. Too. Program here. Does it just like reroute through third party? Um, it, it, it's really nice. It, it seems to tap into your actual YouTube account and it controls your YouTube account. Wow. And then, and so basically what happened was is that Google Air or Google Hangouts doesn't work anymore now? Oh, no, they've, they've deactivated. In fact, I scheduled my um, last podcast uh, the two days before it, it was scheduled to stop and cease uh, operation. So oh, by so the time I actually happened. cast it, <laughs> I realized that there was no more. Yeah, there's no more, have... like we hung out some yen. There was no hang out some yen. They're just, they're just, just burying, you know, YouTube's grave at this point, you know. Yeah, I can, I can see the day um, when uh, I don't really log into it. Well, at the moment, apart from work and the odd uh, um, passing, um, uh, passing hour or something, I don't really uh, go onto YouTube as much as I used to. Chang, are you using Windows 98? Yeah, it's the best version, man. No need for antivirus, nothing. You just plug and play, man. Back in the days. That's a go. That's the last of us. Let's see, uh, let's see what happens if I do this. Just testing the, the speed capture. For, 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 when, for, for whenever we need to share evidence, because you know there's all these doubting, doubting Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> People just don't believe us when we tell them shit, man. So we don't believe you, man. Give me evidence. I want to see pictures. I want to see. Uh... <laughs> see there. That that's why we. That's our statement right there. The picture right uh, there. The uh, the full screen doesn't work then. It's only. Oh, is that was that the picture that was that this? Oh, is that the part when they were on the way after getting? After they left the house, and then, and then, uh, then that's when the girl had the thing happen. Have you have you played the game? It's it's actually a really. Uh... No, I I just I've seen walkthroughs of it on YouTube. Ah, oh, yeah, it's in my opinion, it's one of the best games. Um, I I think I've said this to you. Apologize, but for the uh, sake of the oh, audience, no, just, our our game. two listeners, <laughs> I think it's the best game since Half Life Two. Yeah, apparently we've got two listeners. It's probably me and you. <laughs> <laughs> we're our own biggest fans in these days. And nobody cares about anybody anymore, so yeah. we're just going to have to love ourselves. Yeah, okay, let's try this. Let's see if this works. Yeah, well, uh, me and Element, we're, we're, doing all, we're doing all right. We're doing, we're doing all, all right, right on, the, on, on, on the Xbox, doing all right, but... Um... Uh, if anyone's uh, got got some Xbox skills, any gaming skills, we're looking for a third and a fourth for our uh, supre supremo team, as they as we call it in the US. <coughs> please send in your resumes. Yeah, please. Um, if you're um, if you feel like you're qualified, if you're if you're motivated, if you have a team player, and also if you're uh, if you can also work uh, as an individual, we want to hear from you. We give a great package. And just, uh... In your resume, you have to include gameplay as well. Yeah, we want to see uh, a, a little bit of video footage of your um, of your uh, skills in action. Uh, no, we no, also no want to read all your personal please. messages. Uh, yeah, that's so that we that. know how you deal with people's issues. And that, that, that's, that's a given. Is that that's, uh, that's yeah? You know, you gotta you gotta do that. So on mine here, oh yeah, I can actually screen share as well. Oh yeah, check out yours and see uh, see what happens if you s share your stuff. Let's see, screen share the least. This is just your screen share working. Well, there you go. Look at that. Hmm. Let's wait. Oh. Uh, so far, the, the other one went out. The audio wasn't too bad. It was a bit low. Hoping to uh, boost up uh, the sounds. But I guess we'll listen to this back. And... Was that Division? Oh, no, that's not Division. <clears throat> I 
can't see yours like for some reason. Where's yours? Yeah. Let's see. Mm. How about now? Oh, I can't see yours. Are you? Have you got a an image of the uh, out outgoing? Yeah, it's just the main screen here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know if if you had a chance to listen to the last podcast me and Messenger did about two weeks ago. Must have been now. Actually, yes, I have. I I have. Yes. It went kind of deep, man. We, we we were, well, as you know, we were trying to uh, develop the knowledge that we have personally. So I think the fact that when we come on a podcast, we talk about the issues that we're trying, that we're thinking about, that we're currently trying to uh, research and um, uh, and understand. Uh, mm -hmm. We we obviously we obviously don't make any presumptions about who's listening. We don't know whether or not they'll understand half the stuff we say, but um, certainly there'll, there'll be one or two out there that will also um, um, also be uh, be looking for these for this kind of information. Certainly, you know, and and people, you know, it's it's gotten to the point where people on the internet, I mean, on YouTube, you know, because of what YouTube's doing. It's going to be harder and harder to find people, you know, to, you know, to to disseminate that kind of information. It's going to be increasingly harder too because of the the constriction of what they're allowing people to do and not to. Mm. And I don't think people understand the importance of that. I don't think. <laughs> I was just thinking the about this of, uh, <laughs> the of the YouTube changes or the importance of losing the intellectual uh, progression well, the importance of you know the the people that are willing to, to put the effort into talking about stuff like this i think you know i i, I think... have to agree with you on that i think i i, I think yeah if, if you start scared if you start pushing these people away if you start discouraging <laughs> uh this type of uh discussion uh, and all you do is promote th that type of uh, as marcus famously said that type of never ape low brow um, turn your brain off and talk type of a pewdiepie uh, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> that type of pewdiepie discussion where everything's the same like the, th the thumbnail is some silly face some guy up with his eyes mouth as wide open as possible <clears> like <throat> he shocks he's just opened like a a, a, a box of uh, a, a box with four boxes in so he's unboxing Did the box did you ever see that movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles? I did. Fantastic film. You remember that scene when Tom John Candy. Candy is in the airport and Steve Martin's character recognizes him? And he does that <laughs> thing where it's like, where he's like in the cabin door or like the door of the taxi and he's just like, his mouth is agape. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, that's what they do. They just love to put those ridiculous, generic YouTube f thumbnails in. Like, well, I, I don't know, think, but uh, it seems to attract some people. <clears throat> I don't understand how, you know, people are just so. One thing I, this is it might be completely unrelated, but you know, I, I don't understand how how you know we've had this issue before. We're, we've tried to contact people and they just don't seem to give a damn. You know, that, that's a pity. That's a shame because I feel like the uh, skepticism, the uh, pessimism, <clears throat> the, the, it, it's sort of overtaken them. Yeah, I understand that things are bad. Things are bad. Things do need to change. Uh, we, we, we're not that far from shit hitting the fan, as I say. I mean, uh, how, how bad do do things have to get after the banks collapse and uh, uh, perpetual war and, uh, you know, um, you, you've got th third world countries uh, struggling to rise and then you've got um, uh, other countries that are... Um, you know, th throwing away what what another section of their society is living on. I I know things are bad, but I mean, if if, if all we're doing is trying to reach out to you, all we're trying to do is like send you a message, say hi, you know, a friendly handshake. There's no need <clears> to, <throat> for you to think that we're part of the Illuminati and we're part we're out to get you. You know, some things are not not complicated. You know, I think people will, will respect and realize that kind of camaraderie once it's gone. 
you know. But but the thing about it is, and, and <clears throat> excuse me, the thing about it is that what 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 disturbs me the most about people's uh, communication skills number one they're lacking and they're deteriorating, mm -hmm. and also we live in such a consumer society that for people it's just like I'll just find somebody else. Okay, you know, so <clears throat> I get you there. There's just no value in friendship anymore. I mean, it, it, I mean, it, when you talk to people online, it's like, oh, I'll just switch you off. I'll just ignore you. I'll just block you. There's just no value. I mean, this is a, a this is a person here. I mean, um, you all know what it's like when uh, you're blocked and when people ignore you. I mean, uh, is this the type of society? Is this the people what we've become in? Are we becoming like automatons? Like it reminds me of. Uh, I'm sorry. Go on. <clears throat> no, I just the thought right just came in my head. I just, my words diarrhea out of my mouth. It it, it it's like Black Mirror episode of yeah. where they uh, what was that episode? Oh yeah, it was a it was a it was a kind of like an anthropology uh, thing. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. No, it wasn't. It was a Black Mirror episode. A Christmas special where this one guy had uh, developed this kind of um, thing where when someone that doesn't like you doesn't like you they could just block you and so they had all these like things in their in their eyes or whatever <clears throat> and when they blocked the person it was like the the, the the uh whatever they said was muffled and they completely were literally blocked out like there was like a pixelation around the whole body of the person and they could never and, and anytime the other person wanted to talk to them they couldn't you know the person was just blocked you know and i just I'll tell you what makes me laugh though I, I tell you something most ironic uh in, in our current climate of uh, society you, you, you have people that take each other at such low value I, and we've, we've discussed this about men our disposable male society you know uh, gynocentrism all this stuff uh, what's ironic is the amount of effort and the amount of money and the amount of time people invest in trying to get an artificial intelligent uh, companion ch trying to get uh, a, a game where they can feel immersed in, uh, in, in society where they can feel immersed with, with company or they can get like a a robotic doll where they can feel like they're interacting with a, a realistic human being so do you see how contradictory it is <laughs> oh it's beyond contradictory it's it's quite disturbing and unfortunate i think because if if, if you have people who don't want to even talk to other people you know it's it's like you have to look <clears throat> it's like if you look at it from like a, a more scientific point of view uh where if you have like mice and you're trying to breed mice and they don't like each other, then you're not going to get a good outcome if that's what you're expecting. So if people don't even want to communicate with their own species anymore, then we're in a lot of trouble. And, you know, you know it's, it's what it's doing, I think, is it's allowing machinery and non-human, you know, elements in, to, to control people. I mean, it's like what it's doing is it's outsourcing human emotion human camaraderie and interaction yeah to machines mm. and let the machines decide what humans get to think you're right because that's where the money is right now uh trying to develop an artificial intelligence that cannot be distinguished between a human so <laughs> yeah uh, I mean, that's that, pretty disturbing uh yeah i mean um obviously the the um aesthetics the robotic body the robotic face can can almost be uh, imitated so it, it it resembles uh something like a human something which you could relate to a human i mean um obviously the, the new kind of polymers the new type of um materials they're using uh, can make quite realistic skin tones some of that silicone yeah but but what what's difficult is getting the uh conversation right what you know can you make a machine respond exactly like a uh, a human being as humans uh, uh, individual as they are and the amount of money they're putting in and the amount of interest which is <laughs> which is the thing a lot of people that have interest could you imagine if they released 
like for PlayStation 4 or the Xbox, a, a, a game. And all it did was to simulate either a man, if you're a, a woman, or a woman. And she behaved, spoke, and acted exactly like a woman. I tell you, it, it'd be the biggest seller. That, I'm telling yeah. you right now, because <clears throat> one for years. No. No, it would. It would. You know, they already have stuff like that in Japan and stuff now. Yeah, I don't know if you know, but back in the uh, '80s, when they were using like VHS and Betamax and stuff like that, um, the Japanese uh, men could uh, go. To the <laughs> Look at store. that picture of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think we know. I think we know a couple of guys like that. We uh, they they'd go to the video store. And they'd rent a video of a of a girl who would just uh, speak on the camera. And every week or every every other day, they they go back to the video store and they'd rent w what she had to say, and and they'd make that as their like <coughs> um, uh, you know, subscribed girlfriend. And and then obviously uh, uh, after that, in the nineties, when they had those little uh, <laughs> handheld game uh, things, I, I think. I think Tiger Toys are, are the biggest range, but they have these handheld game things, like a, a bit like a Tamagotchi, a bit like a, um, a Pokemon, uh, electronic Pokemon. And, and it was just a girl, a picture of a of a quite blocky girl, and and the guys would take this handheld game and would interact with this <laughs> this girl on the screen. And obviously now it's about trying to integrate uh, artificial intelligence intelligence in a sex doll. So it is amazing that people do want company. And but they don't want company with other humans. It is strange that you not find it. it it's like we, oh, we yeah. want to live in a sterile world, or is it the fact that there's this Me Too phenomena? Is it like the fear of offending? Oh, man, it's, it's just, it, there's so many things. It's so much. It's, it's, you know, I've sat down many a time and tried to think about how, if, if I could sit down, how, like, what if, compile a list of every single problem that needs to be fixed in terms of trying to make people better of better people i mean one of the biggest things that i think one of the one of one of the many and i mean and I, when i mean many i mean many problems that people have is that they don't want to do with the trauma you know they keep it repressed and so what happens is you have that repressed trauma but then when you go to talk to someone, I guess, if, if we're speaking about a friendship basis or even, I guess, a relationship basis, either way, it's going to affect regardless of the situation. Uh, there's going to be unresolved issues there that are going to cause people to be, um, you know, make people behave in, in a specific way. And <clears throat> that kind of stuff carries itself over into the workplace and also into your family life, you know, and that will cause a lot of dysfunctional people in dysfunctional situations mm. and uh we live in a society that that distracts distracts fixing things you know and it doesn't allow people to take the opportunity to try to fix their problems except that this what it does is it i like distracts that I, I like that um i i, I mean not mm. only it, it reminds me of uh, a few um programs that i that i've seen where we're in a society and do you know what's fascinating? Uh, I, the first one I watched was based in Japan. Uh, the, the next one uh, was, was about the Western uh, phenomenon where people, rather than uh, mending their clothes, mending their uh, TV set, mending their their car, they'll, they'll uh, go, just get a new one. They'll just change it. So they'll yeah. get some new clothes. They'll get a new uh, machine. That they'll just throw the old one away. Obviously, now the, the economy and the market as, as it is, that's not so much of an option these days. But you're right in that rather than fix relationships, rather than fix problems we have with other people, we, we just discard them and throw them away. Do, do you think this is a phenomenon due to the fact that people haven't learned these skills, that for some reason, for some social change, people are no longer either equipped or able or willing to um, fix problems they have with each other. I think it's, um, I, I think it's, understand the value of what it means to, to you know, to, 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 um, 
I'll tell you exactly what I think it is, or a better way of explaining it, is that people don't understand the consequences of their actions, nor do they give a damn what they are. Um, <clears throat> I think that's a I think that's a big part of it. People just say, "Oh, look, I'll do," and I think that ties into the consumer stuff as well, you know. But I think it, a lot of it has to do with the fact that people don't care what the consequences of their actions are. You know, a sense of morality, a sense of integrity, a sense of common sense, a sense of all of those things, and realizing that you know what, if I do this, this could affect someone else's life in a really bad way. Mm. You know, I could really hurt someone if I do this and, or if I say this. People have no filter, man. I'm telling you, they, they don't give a damn anymore. People just don't care. They'll say what they want. They do what they want. They And and, and then that kind of mindset, <clears throat> that kind of mindset, I believe, is uh, either, you know, it, it's it's almost like it's, it's, it's narcissistic. It's narcissism. And it's become normalized, I think. And also, when you have people that just don't take in, into consideration, you know, uh, that and like you were saying, you know, how to how you know, instead of just you know throwing it away, try to fix it. <clears throat> if that's the mentality, then nothing will ever in their yeah. personal lives get any different because then they'll just throw it away, and then the next thing comes along, and then that doesn't work, then they'll throw it away, and yeah. then the next thing. And so if that's going to be the case, how do you ever have foothold in anything? You know, how, if we're speaking about the subject of, of, human, of human beings and, uh, <clears throat> you know, you should, yeah, like if, if all, in all honesty, you wanted to make humanity or, or people, you wanted to help people out for, for the better uh, and, and try to see them go on their way and do well, then you have to tell them, look, you know, <clears throat> You can't just throw something away if you don't like it. You have to fix it. You have to try to fix it until it's absolutely unfixable. Um, because uh, th there's a sense of, of of realizing that you know human pe you know people. You can't just throw people away. They're not freaking objects. Now, if that's how people view people nowadays, and it's you know psychopathic, mm -hmm. you know, because that's I think how they view things is that. I think psychopaths view things like you view a machine. You know, it's just something there to be used. You know, and and you know that's disturbing because that, if that's the case. You know. uh, that that number one that that was very worrying because yeah, I I, I think no doubt everyone sees this trend where. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I guess you'd see this even more so in bigger cities like New York or <clears> London <throat> or Paris, where uh, you know you could be bleeding. Uh, smashed you could be unconscious on the floor and people just won't give a shit they'll just walk past you or they'll hear some screaming down the road and everyone will walk the other way uh, th this is a disturbing trend uh, human society cannot head in this direction but um uh, an, in uh, an interesting point that you made and i think a couple of guys um uh, messengers said that uh, the anon 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 anonymity of the internet has led to people showing their true face now I, i've been thinking about this uh, and i think that that's not the case i think the uh, anonymity have made p people show their worst face <clears throat> if you see how people treat to the face to face it will be more cordial it will be more well-mannered than when people uh, for example doing uh, having an exchange just merely on uh, internet text yeah chat. i think that's i think that's what they meant but yeah i see your point but yeah. it's it's interesting so do you think that people are inherently cruel or is it that um uh, all our faculties you know um let, you know if we remove technology <clears throat> um having a face-to-face -face interaction with, with other people it, uh, having a more natural environment where people can or or, or a more organic way where people can inter interact is is the way that people must see themselves rather than seeing each other as like an account name or uh, an, an avatar or, or some profile <laughs> picture, which for that space, it could be anybody. Well, I don't know. You know, I, I can't really answer the question whether or not people are inherently cruel, but I'll tell you this. Uh, if, if they weren't, if they weren't, then they certainly are now um, because of all of this stuff that, that we have to do with now, like you said, with, you know, like you see people that have like, you know, the, the usernames, the account names, all this kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> what it's doing is it's, it's de-individualizing people. And so when you de-individualize someone, 
you're taking away any kind of social or personal responsibility of their actions. You're just a complete and total uh, number. And I think subconsciously, I don't think people realize that. <clears throat> but when you take away someone's identity, then it's almost like they're free to do whatever they want. Um, but it's like almost like reverse psychology. It's a very strange social engineering thing I've noticed. Um, but when you take people's uh, responsibility of shame, which we have none left in this world anymore, or consequence of their actions and things that they do, you know, people that leave stupid comments and stuff, or, or say and make response videos and <clears throat> in that kind of sense of the, that part of the internet, um, you're basically at that point giving people free reign to be complete and total lunatics and barbarians and not realizing and, and dehumanizing because of the fact that there's a screen yeah, that, I see that is that. in the way. Yeah, I think, I, think, uh, <clears throat> I, think, I think people can, can relate to that. I mean, uh, when you're talking to somebody online or, or even over the phone, I mean, this phenomenon was, was observed when... Uh, um, you know, people were making complaints to uh, to, to department stores and, and to uh, organizations over the phone. They found that they were quite different over the phone than they were uh, in a face-to-face -face situation. Mm -hmm. But the continuing research found that people that, that were more aggressive uh, when they dehumanized other people, um, w w once the face was taken away, that they were more likely to develop aggression towards people once they were face-to-face. -face. So... Uh, it could be a worrying trend, the fact that internet has brought out the worst side of the aggressive... Because uh, you must have heard the uh, stories and the uh, reports where people got so uh, angry at someone online, they, they would, you know, try and, I guess the word is dox them and then find out where mm -hmm. they live and then they'd, they'd go and get them. I mean, I remember yeah. the early days of MGTOW when um <laughs> when we were just starting to go you know starting to get the uh, numbers uh, you know a few of the guys that were getting challenges you know i remember messenger getting a a, a comment from x paladoc you know your boy x paladoc <laughs> he, 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 he asked messenger to uh he asked messenger to fly over to fight him <laughs> <My boy. laughs> he goes come fight me bitch Fly over here and go fight. Come over here and bring your English ass. We're gonna fight. Uh, wow. So he wanted them to fly all the way over to fight. That, that's that, that's that was just one. I mean, I could, I can mention a few others, but I think I'll start opening a big can of worms. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I mean, taking apart the entire logistics of that, I mean, he's what he's gonna spend like five, six hundred uh, dollars. To fly yeah. over there just to fight a guy that he might or might not be able to take. I, I imagine like the discourse like on the way there, like he has to go through TSA, like hi, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you very much. It's like, oh please put your liquids in there. Oh thank you, thank you. And then he's gonna be really nice, and then you know he's about to go kick someone's ass on the way there, but but he has to sit there and wait for the plane to get there and stuff. It's it's but, but it not only like this kind of internet drama is played out in like the popular channels like um I can't remember their, you know, forget their names, but the, the, you know these popular uh, uh, YouTube icons. They're like throwing shit at each other and they're like challenging each other. <laughs> I don't know if you remember if you saw it in the in the uh, atheist community as well. There were like uh, once all the Christians, Muslims, and Jews all left, they all started fighting each other and started challenging each other to come over <laughs> and fight each other. But uh, yeah, that shows you there that they eat their own, man. Yeah, <laughs> they eat their own. You know, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. I, I didn't mean to pick on the atheist community because I've seen it amongst the religious community. Once, once they're, they're <clears> all the <throat> all the enemies are cleared out, they start turning upon each other. But no, I I do want to pick up on the point where people de dehumanize each other uh, online, and we don't see the value of each other anymore. And I think, yeah. if if I may say, um, I think in the early days of Mikta, I think we were discarding that, we were removing that social condition. I think guys did see that we were quite similar in the problems that we face. And uh, if we cooperated, um, we would find solutions and, and get things done. And I think for a moment we, we did have that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It was there at one point in time, <clears throat> you know, and, and the one thing I have to say out there to people is 
if you have some good, if you know, if you have good friends or people that you can call your friends and you know it or whatever that whatever the frick those people, you know, whatever the thing they tell people and believe or say, um, you know, keep them, keep them around because you're gonna need them. And and when you go through some really rough times, especially with all the stuff we have to deal with, and if if you've been living under a rock until now and you don't realize how difficult things are right now, is that guy again? And you know, realize that you know who that is right there, Shiny. I don't know who's that. That's Maze. <laughs> I think Maze is a bit younger than that. No, that's Maze. Okay, I see you looking to swap out this screen. But yeah, you were saying, uh... you know, but if you have good friends out there and <clears throat> you know, and 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 people that you can really team and be, you know, there with and that are gonna they're gonna get your back, you, you you're gonna need it, you know, because like we were like we've been saying that. Unfortunately, uh, people are not like that anymore. And, you know, respect and honor and, and all the things that MGTOW had talked about, you know, is there, oh, look at that. You, ever, you can actually leave the. We are rocking on both cylinders today. We've got a wow, two stroke. Two stroke, one piston. You know, but those are the things that, that MGTOW had talked about. You know that, and the importance of those things that 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 was you know discussed. You know, and and I think the few people that still have that understanding are very rare and, and valuable people because you know it, it, with society going the way it's going, people don't understand what it's like to actually have somebody or have people that are actually going to respect you and be cordial to you and. and you know, just it's just crazy that we actually have to have these discussions. That people are so detached and removed about how to treat people right or what you know whatever that we have to educate people about how to treat people right i mean just really think about that for a minute that we're that, that we have to educate people about how to treat each other and not want to kill each other i mean that's just crazy you know it's, it's a necessity nice. now i mean uh, it's no small or uh, insignificant <clears throat> I, I think it is a necessity and i'm glad that you pointed out the fact that um we we, we do need a little help um uh, on on the way or even if you're like the most independent man i mean uh, the a contribution from uh, a, a certain helping hand now and again um you know can uh, can open up uh, doors and, and and options for you um, I do agree that we, we do need to see the value in, I mean, not everyone's going to get along, um, you know, other yeah. pe you know, certain people have certain skills and abilities and, uh, and uh, are able to do uh, certain things better than other people. So uh, obviously, uh, depending on your situation, depending on your circumstances will, will depend on the uh, person that you need or the help that, that you need or the, um, progress that you need and you know what's uh, funny about that is Aaron Rubin just I'm looking at the thing here on the screen and he's talking about how if you got hit or something or you, you know you got attacked or something that people would videotape but I was listening to the radio today which I never do in the car and I heard the story about this woman who um, <clears throat> she uh, basically broke up with some person right and then she said she's going to kill herself and videotaped it live on facebook and then jumped off the river off of a bridge into the river and uh um she was still alive and so what happened was uh people just started pulling out their phones and videotaping it and then and then and then you know the cops came and they didn't jump into the water and save her or you know help, tried to help her or anything i'm just like Fuck, man, this is sick this is this is disturbingly sick how people go and help people that's uh that's a good point you've got there and um i, I wonder w what will be the consequences if society keeps on going down this route i mean what will be the consequences if our uh, intentions our desires are to go towards uh, machinery for affection for for uh, for companionship and we start dehumanizing each other or we start de uh, de destroying the value of um, uh, human interaction. I mean, what will be the consequences? Oh, I'll tell you what it'll be. It'll be like THX one one three eight. That's what it'll be like. There will be no emotion. There will be no humanity. There will be. It will just all be run by machines. 
<clears throat> it would dictate when you get to work, where you get to work, who you get to be with, who you cannot be with. It would be dystopia, man. I mean, we're kind of in one, but it will be a dystopia of, of, of massive proportions. Yeah, I see. I mean, I predict a lot more violence. I think there'll be a lot more uh, mass uh, shootings. Uh, I think there was another one in El Paso, and then uh, wasn't there one uh, this morning? I think there was uh, another one. <sighs> I can't even shooting. keep up with them all. Um, I think um, people will be more prone to uh, sporadic violence as well, like so, like you know, not, you know, like when you're trying, trying to find a, a car parking space, the, the odd shouting match will come out. I, I, I reckon people start stabbing each other for for shit like that, and I think. Well, you know, if you want to look at that from <clears throat> like you were saying, like what, what do you think would happen? I think people would become psychopaths. I think it'd be like an epidemic, like a mass like a virus that had gotten loose and, and it just starts infecting people's minds after a period of time where, you know, it's like, uh, did you ever, did you see that movie called the bird box? Oh uh, no, didn't see that. Okay. That was about, that had Sandra Bullock in it and some other person that was who was in that. But the whole premise behind that <clears throat> is that they, and I won't try to give too much of it away if, if anybody wants to watch it, but it was about, um, this uh uh like it was kind of like um this uh how do i describe it well it, it was like this mist or, or wind or fog or something that would it's air like the air would would blow in you know to the city and it would cause people to start to it'd tell them to kill themselves and they would and so there was this mass epidemic of like you know people going around killing themselves because they, they would remember or see something that was so, it made them so sad that they couldn't handle it anymore. And it's almost like that other movie called uh, the happening where people just sort of randomly just killing themselves and going after people. I brought, I brought that up to kind of compare that in a sense to, to what's happening with people that they are just, they're, they're it's like they're possessed, you know, they, they, they just, uh, you know, act upon no instinct or compassion. It's just complete and total detachment of any kind of remorse or emotion at all. Uh, I mean, I've met some great guys from uh, the MGTOW scene. I've met some great guys from the the, uh, the Manosphere, and um, I've tried to keep in touch with them. And when I, like, puts a certain amount of <clears throat> effort into it like so some guys i mean i'm still in touch with them and i am you know uh, i thank god that uh, these guys are, are still around and it's always nice to see these guys around and to get the odd me message messages uh, sometimes i uh, will send them random messages um and sometimes they'll send me some some random stuff um but there are certain others who uh, i've spent uh, and and you you know them too. I spent years, you know, trying to keep in touch with them, trying to inv you know invite them to uh, mm -hmm. you know, to gaming sessions with us, you know, invite them to hangouts. Um, uh, you know, over the years, I've I've I have expended some effort to keep in touch with these guys. But after a point, I mean, when these guys stop responding, I mean, uh, you, you just have to give up, really. I mean, there there has to be a point where you you say, well, you, you know what, I'm I'm going to move on now. I'm gonna invest uh, my time uh, and my spirit in in guys that uh, you know do want to, to keep, you know to oh, of uh, cooperate and. Well, it's it's a sense of you know when when somebody you know doesn't respect your time and the effort that you're putting into something. It's like somebody going up to you and saying, "Hey, do you?" You know, it's like it's like if somebody went up to you and and, and you got into a car accident. And they come up to you and say, hey, are you okay? And they say, get the fuck out of here, you idiot. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is, like, okay, fine. You know, it's, it feels like that sometimes, you know? It's like, <laughs> I'm just trying to be your friend. <laughs> God damn it. I'm just trying to be neighborly, man. No, fuck you. Fuck you right now. Get the fuck out of here, you, you stupid out. idiot. How dare you try to be my friend? I don't like you. Uh, you know, it's like, what the hell, you know? Yeah, that's a pity. That's a pity, though. I think. Uh, Hurts your feelings. It's like what the? That's like, ow, that hurt. Like, I, I remember. Man. I had a. I had a. Um. Well, 
I say a debate. I had a exchange with, with, with your boy. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Link Blue. Uh, I knew him as. <laughs> <laughs> I had an exchange with your boy Link Blue, and and he said that uh, human society is built upon war. You know, it, uh, war or conflicts advance. I, I think Turfing and Monkey said shit like that as well. He says war and conflict advances uh, civilization. It advances society. I said, get the fuck out of it. It does not cooperation building that that is what uh, uh that is what develops society w what finishes a society well anybody that believes that they're going to create their own freaking currencies out of the marbles <laughs> yeah okay so yeah, you're uh, right it doesn't it doesn't advance society I mean, if, if maybe financially, the most, the most developed civilizations, <clears throat> they they had the la I mean, let's take America for example. The, the, one of the biggest criticisms that Americans themselves have is that it's a multicultural society. You, you, you get very few uh, countries that are that are as diverse as America and Britain. In, in fact, the the British government realized a long time ago, and, and they realized it through through the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire, who rather than wiping out their enemies, they absorbed every every society they uh, came across. The most successful civilizations have, have come from cooperation and uh, development from as many uh, um, backgrounds, technologies, and and uh, knowledge bases as possible. And I would argue that America's success has been from the fact that it it's had such a large contribution, or uh, whether they're willing or unwilling. <laughs> from the rest of the world <laughs> yeah yeah. Uh, yeah it's it's uh it's interesting you know how it's, it's almost just hard to explain anything anymore what's going on just it's hard to put it into words you just have to see it for yourself and you either get it or you don't it's like it's kind of like looking at a a piece of abstract art or chaos art or something you know, and you look at it, you either kind of get it or you don't, but it's indescribable. You know, it's, it's just hard to put things into words, and that's not on, that's not by accident or, or any kind of coincidence either. You know, also, you know, we, we were talking about uh, the subject of, of uh, <clears throat> like uh, people with you, you know, like just the whole identity of the internet itself, you know, with people with, when they go on the internet. Um, and I thought about this too, you know, texting was, a, was one of the, I think cell phones are, are one of the worst things that could have ever happen to people um, because you see everyone on them. And what they don't realize is that, you know, when you start introducing things like emoticons and, you know, abbreviations for things, then basically what you're doing is you're getting rid of uh, the ability for people to communicate properly. And so then people just start speaking like with words like, you know, the words just start secreting out of their faces, and they don't know what they're saying. There's, you know, because I mean, they don't know how to speak anymore. They don't know how to format, formulate a sentence to communicate their point across, which can lead people to be very. It's interesting you say that. Uh, I, I, you know, I've been watching like as old as footage as I can find. Like I think they call it vintage. I've been watching like films made in the twenties, <laughs> films made in the thirties, oh, yeah. and the way they talk to each other. It, it, it's so different. I mean, these are American films. These are British films. And the way oh, yeah. the, the, they speak to each other in the 20s and 30s is so different than the way oh, we yeah. speak to each other now. It's almost like a, a, a another language. But no, I, I absolutely have to agree with that. The, we have lost the art of negotiation, of uh, multi, motivation. We've lost, lo lost the art of um, uh, d d working and developing. Uh, on uh, uh, um, our our speech, our language, our uh, relationships, and obviously this spans into everything. I mean, having a good grasp of uh, your your language uh, is an absolute must for for getting uh, for getting on in uh, getting on well in society. And, <clears throat> yeah, if we're, we're all just <laughs> unable well, to speak you, to each other. I think you. <laughs> I think you brought up a good point though with uh with with older movies and stuff yeah go if you want to study about how people used to talk and like what what humans used to look like and behave like <laughs> what we used to look like what we used to look like before we start looking like that guy in that picture um 
go watch like the old uh you know black and white movies the 1930s 1940s 1920s you know whatever and go watch how those people communicated with each other you know it's a script but it's a reflection of the society at the time and go yeah, watch the, how those the language they are. use as well it's like they, they'd all be like they all call each other sir or, or me. i know we do that today but 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 they'd address each other uh even if they were strangers i mean the way the way we address each other now uh yeah but they actually meant it you know they understood the importance of of, of, of respect for for people you know yeah you know it wasn't just like oh what's up you know now we say what's up you know and stuff like that now if you said what's up to somebody they would have said well it's the ceiling you know it's people don't the meaning of words has changed you know the, yeah i guess the uh I guess, I guess you, you, greet, you greet each other with a punch in the face like Vic James and Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy, Vic James, bitch. What you do is you go to someone's couch and you just grind your feet <laughs> all over. Well, I'm going to grind my feet on someone's couch. I have something to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember grinding my feet and Charlie Murphy's mouth. Yeah, I remember, I, I remember doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> yeah, well, well it, was a, it was an absolute... Um, treat to, to catch you today this is just going to be a test i hope you guys will join us uh, for our next one where we'll be uh, uh hopefully joined by messenger he's he's been doing a little bit of research on the topics that i mentioned yesterday we'll uh, delve a bit deeper into uh the uh, the uh, human psyche particularly the the uh, western male and uh, and what what ailments are perhaps uh, holding us back and uh, being a thorn in our side and you know m maybe what um what techniques can we learn to to overcome our uh, let's say our predicaments well before before we end this i just want to say uh, i really like this this uh stream yard thing here i think this is good you know this is this is a gem to find now i just have a couple questions first of all the top right uh, where it says powered by stream yard is that a duck with a coin on its head I think it's a duck with a set of headphones, but yeah, the, this is the uh, this is the free version. So you guys want to support with that? <laughs> if you guys uh, want, if you guys get one, go want to get rid of that 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 uh, motif there. You're gonna have to send me some Patreon, please. Uh, donate some Bitcoin over to my. Uh, it's gonna cost you fifty dollars for me. Yeah, that. so if if you can, if you guys can pay for my Streamyard subscription, I'd I'd, I'd appreciate. It. <laughs> Shit, I've just lost. A, I've just lost a viewer. Well, well, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. Uh... Yeah, it was good, and, and you know, appreciate you setting this up here because you know most people would have just said, "Oh, well, I'm done." Whatever. But you keep it going, and I think people appreciate that. You know? um, yeah, I mean, some guys have been spurring me on, but um, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, mo motivation's a, a big thing now for men. I think. I think. Um, I don't know if you watch my uh, Tolkien video, but I, I sincerely do believe that um, people's willpower, people's will to live, uh, uh, is being sapped away in the current environment mm -hmm. that that we find yeah. ourselves found into. Yeah, it has, so, yeah, it uh, has. And, and you know, I heard this. Um, I don't remember. I don't know who where the origin of this comes from, but I've heard it many times, and it's a saying that goes. Evil flourishes when good people or good mm. men uh, do nothing, you know. And but 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 it's hard. It's hard to do something because no one appreciates you doing anything. And and, and even the small things, you know. Unfortunately, though, I, I and you know we could expand on this next time. But I, I think, oof, you know, it's it's tough out there. I don't know what to do about about all this stuff, you know. Well that's, kind of well, that's our talking point. I think that's where we can perhaps uh, progress, where other channels and other I ideas have failed. Uh, you know, what can we do about it? What can be I done? Think the, I think the first thing that we can do is to realize that... Hold on, I'm sorry. Hello? Am I still on? Yeah, you're still on, yeah. Test, test. Can you not hear? <laughs> yeah, we can hear oh, you, bro. On one second. Okay. okay. Well, it looks like we've lost the limit. <laughs> but oh, yeah, join us again next. Uh, join us again next next time, gentlemen. Uh, I hope you enjoy this little introduction. But uh, don't be strangers <clears> now. 